to open up a resume template, open up your cover letter and just double check the design theme that you chose. And also if you change the color, the font color, make sure you check that as well. Okay, so here I'm gonna go to File, New from Document, and go up here and search Resume. We're gonna choose the basic resume. Now, had I checked this before, we probably would have chose the basic resume and the basic cover letter, but I did not. So we're gonna try and make it look as close as we can to the other one. So I'm gonna just hit Create. And again, it's gonna come in in its own color scheme. So I'm gonna change that. We'll go to Design, Themes, and choose slice like I did before. But that is not the blue that I used, so I'm gonna do Command A, Home, and choose this font color. I could also go up here to the header and then the footer as well, and keep in mind that they get a little grayed out when, uh, they are in your header and footer. I'm going to change that color as well. So shape format, shape fill, choose that same blue. And it should change the one down at the bottom too. Go to header and footer and close it. Again, it looks gray here, but it won't. All right, so they want us to just do the first and last name, but because we did her middle name before, we're just going to keep that consistent. This is annoying, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like those templates used to be in Publisher. So it's not like you like click here and do the address, the phone, and the email. That's how it used to be. Like I don't even think you can get a blinking cursor there. So we're going to go back to the cover letter to get some information to copy and paste copy the address here, command C. Now so that it goes to the color that it is on the resume, which should be the same, but I want it to be the same size and everything. I'm, instead of just pasting, I'm gonna match the formatting so it's that format and then get rid of that space after it. Then I'm going to add a border to it, just like we did before, just to kind of merge those two themes. So go up here, so select your text, go up here, go down to borders and shading, and I'm going to add that blue border. So choose that, I'll make it just a little bit thicker. And where it says color automatic, make sure that you click down below here to actually apply the border. Now instead of skill summary, we're going to choose the word objective and we are going to put that in all caps. I'm going to select the data so that when I go to type, I'm not going to select it and delete it. I'm just going to select it and type over it so that way it merges the formatting. Oops, and I'll ca my caps lock off. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the objective is actually uh, kind of controversial. Some people think you don't need it, but um, with something like this person, you do as their experience would lead someone to believe that they are looking for a chef position, but they are not. They are looking um, to be a, a like culinary teacher. All right, you want to keep your another thing to think about when you're working with your objective is you want it to be specific enough so that people know what type of job you're, job you're looking for, but not too specific so that they don't think outside the box for jobs that you might be open to that you never actually considered or where they think that with your experience you would be a good fit for. So for instance, and as I'm talking, I'm going to make education 
um, all caps. So I'm going to turn my caps off and type it. When I applied for for a position in DeSoto, I actually applied for a high school business position, and um, that job had been filled. But because I had taught computers and oversaw yearbook at a high school, they considered me for this position. All right, so we're going to use these uh, preset designs, but I think it's kind of hard that the degree part here is um, just as big as the, so they did like the space slash space. I'll just do the same thing, space slash space. Okay, so we want this to kind of stand out so that it looks like it's under the heading of education. I'm going to select the degree and change it to a different heading style so that it will look different than the heading education. You're going to want to make this a bulleted list. But we want our bullets to be these arrows. So I think it's best just go ahead and start the bulleted list first. I've already done this first one time, so just go ahead. Yours are going to look different. We'll change them here in a little bit. So you're going to type those first ones, Dean's List. Remember to get a new bullet, you're just going to press enter. We want the text to go directly below the A in areas, but we don't want it to get a bullet. So we're going to hit shift enter, and then we're just going to continue to do that while we finish typing these. And so like right here, I'm going to hit shift enter, and it should change the look of your enter. So after you type cuisine, you can hit enter, enter, and that will stop your bullets at this. Okay, to change these, we're going to go up here and you can just select the bullets if you want to. And go to your bullets at list, the down arrow beside your bullets at list, go to define new bullet. And this bullet is actually in your in WebDings 3. I'm going to go here to font. I feel like it's really big, so I actually might make the font size 10. I mean, I really don't want my bullets to stand out is the thing. And then to change the font color, again, when I changed mine to that navy, up, it changed it to yellow, but it showed up blue here. Not quite sure what's going on, but I'm just going to roll with it. It showed up blue there, too. So I do feel like that made them smaller. So again, I think it's based on my font. So just kind of think about that. Again, you don't want the bullets to stand out. After I get this how I want it so that it matches this up here, I will just copy and paste it below and then just type over it. So first of all, I want experience to be in all caps. I'm just going to type over it. So even though they have name of employer, um, I I don't think that it's right to have the name of the employer stand out. I think it's better to have his experience, like his job title stand out. So we're going to change that and make sure you have your um, caps lock turned off. And then you would put um, where it says job title. And then put the dates there. Okay, then I want chef intern to look a lot like this BS in culinary arts, like my schooling. So after I type it, I'm going to change it to heading three. And then I'm going to change both of these 
to bold. Then right here, we're going to list what he did. this to be indented so I'm go up here and click increase indent so that it's in line with my bullets here 